Let's learn how we can send file between model, view, and controller. So it is very basic. We will work in a very basic example for uh, this video. If I come to the route, we have our route here. First, let's see how you can send file from route to a view. That way, you can just easily understand. You can send file from mm, file or data. My file, I mean data from controller to the view too. So we have our about page. If I send any data to the about, you say we have a data variable here, and we say here is my data. Yes, it is data, and we send it to the to the to this view. If you want to send it, just give a second parameter and write the compact function inside the compact function. Just write your variable name without the dollar sign, the data. Now in your about, you have access to the data. This is very simple. If I come here to the uh, resource about, if I want to display about us here, and if I want to display it, well, you can mm, do it in uh, different ways. Of course, you can open your PHP tag and then close your PHP tag and use it like a variable. You can echo it like this if i save it and come here to one let's open our file and going to the about page as you can see about us here is my data and it will display it directly here in laravel uh, we don't use that we use something called the blade you, as you can see the blade you can just open two brackets here and inside this one write the data if i refresh the page now it is working the same way but you should know that when you use this one it will escape your data too for example uh, if i come here let's see here is my data and my data is going to have an html tag too save it if i refresh my page now it is in the h1 and h1 will be displayed here because we use the laravel syntax for this one now it will escape it beside the it use the html5 html special char uh, function to escape all the special character for this one that's why it will escape the data too uh, if you don't want to escape it just remove this one and instead of this one put two exclamation point here now it will not escape it will run it as it is like this one it is an h1 now if i view the source you can check that this is an h3 and inside h3 we have an h1 and this is not the common example but this is how it is going to work so this is how you can uh, print data in the view always we use the syntax that you should understand this is how you can send from uh, the from the route to the view let's see how you can send data from the controller here is our contact controller we will open the contact page here it is almost the same and it will give us an error because we don't have a my contact controller does not exist i think we delete the controller if i come here my call my controller no going here okay we don't have the contact function so we will use the index instead of that one you say if you go to the contact my controller open the index function this time if i refresh it it will not give us an error so i will come to my controller here inside this one let us echo no will not echo something which has return the view here contact and let's save as you can see it will uh, view the contact here our view for the contact is again here so let's see how you can send data it is almost the same it there is no difference between them you can write your data here let's say our data is an array so the uh, array is consisting of con gen do list of names let's send them so you can just come here give the second parameter and use the compact function and put data here now in your contact uh, that blade.php you have access to the data variable 
if I come here to the contact.blade.php you have access to your variable if I come here and say data what will happen because our data is an array if I refresh the page it says that uh, we need a, a string instead of because it is a HTML special char it, is not, it cannot process this one so for this one you can use for each loop to display them I will open the UL and I will open use the for each you can uh, use for each in PHP in Laravel if you want to use any of the uh, conditional statement or the if statement or any of the for each or for statement loop statement you can use at sign and then the name of them like this for each and you should end that end for each okay then you will open the uh, brackets here and you say for each data as key you will assign them to the variable key now here you can just uh, use the li and display them as a key now you have a string because it is uh, it is not an array anymore it will just loop through the data and display them as key now HTML is special char of course they will accept a string not an array if I refresh the page now you have Khan, Jen, Do and all of them are arrays of data uh, that you send from here it is very easy now I said we share data between model model is simply the file here in our app directory the book we use controller to take data from model and display them because we don't have any data in the database we don't need to use this one because it is going to work with database in the future videos I will uh, use this one to get data from database and display them so I hope it has been informative for you and see you in the next video